Today is September 18th. We're going to start our oxalic acid treatments. We use a ProVape 110. You got to have 110 volts or you can use an inverter that's rated for 250 watts or higher. When we get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go around, we're going to put an entrance reducer. We already stuck an entrance reducer in the front. And then we put our debris tray in on the bottom if you're running a screen bottom board. If you're not running a screen bottom board and running a solid bottom board, you don't have to worry about that but we want to hold them vapors in the hive as long as possible. We treat from the back side of the hive. We use a quarter inch drill bit and we go right underneath the edge of our bottom board and we drill a hole in, the, in there. Now I'm going to fire up the generator and get this up to, up to speed on heat wise. The Oxivap Pro comes with two caps and that's what we put the oxalic acid in. The ProVape comes with a with a oxalic acid uh, a measuring thing, which is about a quarter of a teaspoon. Well, we do one gram per hive body. And we put it in there, and then I'll just I, I give you two of them. So when we go to the next hive, we'll have one ready for it. Okay, the this thing here will heat up. It'll say 230 when it's hot enough. It'll take about a minute and a half to two minutes to heat up. When it reaches 230, that's when we can start putting our oxalic acid and treat with it. So we'll let it warm up, and we'll go ahead and put the debris trays in the the next pipe. While it's heating up, we're going to take a wet rag and we'll stick on the entrance of the hive like that and block it off. That'll hold a lot of the bees into the hive. Ideally, I like to treat in the mornings before the bees start flying real good because we've got a lot out foraging right now. The golden rod's coming on pretty good. We've got a lot of foraging bees out. We'll be treating again with oxalic acid in 10 days, and then we're going to do another treatment in 10 more days. So it'll be three treatments 10 days apart. Now this, this uh, oxalic acid burner reads in Celsius. So to, what we're looking for is it's going to shut off at about 230 and it'll keep cycling between 230. When I put the oxalic acid, the lid on there and I put the thing in and flip it over, the oxalic acid will hit, the temperature will start dropping. It might drop down as low as 190 and then it'll come back up. When it gets back up to around 220, 230, you can take it out and move to the next one. It usually only takes 20 to 30 seconds to treat and then move on to the next one and be ready to treat again. Now we're almost there. We're at 215, about 215 degrees Celsius. Okay, here's, here's the bowl. It's about 400 degrees inside that bowl right now. We flip the thing over, put it on there, hit it like that. Then you just take that and slide it in the hole and you flip it up. Now the temperature dropped down to about 209 degrees and it's climbing back up. It's at about 217, 218 now. When it hits 220, we pull it out. The treatment's done. And that quarter inch hole, we take a golf tee. We stick in that hole there and that blocks the hole off. Then you pop the cap off and you're ready to treat the next time. That's all there is to the treatments of them. And 10 days from now, we'll come back and we'll treat every hive again. Oh,